I've just wasted over £5,000 developing a website for my IT coaching business in WordPress, and I ditched it all for Kajabi. Let me tell you why. One of my business ventures after selling my business last year is to coach other IT business owners. My plan, over time, was to build out a website where they can sign up and get access to templates and resources, and over time, allow me to build out a training course. And we almost, almost got there. Almost. I worked with a web developer who did a great job on the WordPress website, came up with a great design, but with all the little tweaks around signing up members and integrating it with a CRM system and having an optional ability to sell separate courses or resources, which I then plan to create over the coming months and years. And all of that resulted in just a lot of tweaking and adjustments and, and sort of like workarounds and, and just a lot of faffing. We were using plugins completely against the way they were intended for. And basically to cut a long story short, I switched it all to Kajabi. Now, what the tech? is Kajabi, I hear you ask. Kajabi is like WordPress, but on steroids, and it's built specifically for membership websites, and I'd never really heard of it before. Oh, uh, actually, I lie. I had heard of it before, but I'll be honest, I took one look at their monthly pricing and just went, uh, noob, and then got back to throwing money at fudging this WordPress website thing together, and um, more on that in a second. But Kajabi is an all-in-one service that you can use to run a membership platform, to run you know, courses, training modules, and, and even sell both physical and digital products. It is a CRM, automation and sales system all in one. And it is so easy to use. Literally, I thought I'd found a game changer when I you know, discovered Divi for WordPress, which kind of makes WordPress like drag and droppable. But Kajabi just takes this all to an entirely new level. And because of how easy it is to use and after spending five grand on my WordPress website, which literally took months to build. Well, I built my own website in Kajabi in like two days. Now, admittedly, I did have a design that I mostly copied from that five grand WordPress website, but I couldn't exactly flush all of that investment down the toilet. But with that said, that is still pretty damn good to achieve a whole website build in just two days. And I'm not fully technical. I mean, I am technical, but I don't do coding and website design and all of that stuff. But with all of that good stuff said, I do want to address some bad stuff because it did become a pain in the rear trying to figure just like a couple of these bits out. Now, number one is the CRM system is, is pretty good and can do a lot of the things that I do want, but it's not as flexible yet as the likes of say Active Campaign, which is probably, I think my favorite CRM system at the moment right now. And in fact, it is the one I use and still use to this day. So currently I can't quite ditch the CRM. Number two is tax. And this is something I just don't understand. But if you are a business, that needs to charge tax, Kajabi won't do this out of the box. You have to look at other systems which can calculate and then invoice tax properly. Well, for me, this is a system called Thrivecart. That's something I'll leave a link in the description below, along with a link, of course, for, for Kajabi. And if you use those links, you'll be supporting the channel. So thank you. But outside of those two issues, for me, it's all good news. Good news, everyone. Using Kajabi and Thrivecart together, I can easily sign up customers who enter their credit card details, sign up to a monthly coaching service, and then they also now get access to a training course, or soon to be courses, which you can log in and watch and read, listen, module by module. It is super easy, even easier than WordPress, even when using something like their Divi theme, which is a pretty drag and droppable as it is. Yeah, it's, it's even easier than that. I can sell my courses, I can keep track of everyone's progress, I can sell digital downloads. It does everything that I need it to do for my coaching business. So that is why I spent 5,000 pounds on my website and then didn't even use it. I've now even migrated my own personal website across, again, from WordPress to Kajabi. And it's not a membership website, but it just makes so much more sense to keep it all in one place. Cost-wise, Kajabi starts from $119 per month, which on the face of it sounds expensive. Yeah, remember when I said when I first looked at Kajabi, I instantly canned the idea based on that cost alone. But once I added up the cost of what I was already paying for proper web hosting, of all the WordPress plugins I was using, their maintenance and renewal fees, the cost I was paying to my web developer every single time I wanted like a small tweak to the code or decided I wanted to do something slightly different on the website, that cost of $119 is actually marginally cheaper than that. And someday I hope to be able to ditch the CRM system too. That alone is $49 per month. And if that is the case, then Kajabi becomes significantly cheaper by a, by a long shot. And the CRM system isn't bad in Kajabi. It just doesn't do what I want to use it for. And for me, it doesn't quite do a couple of things which are specific to me around automations 
but it could be ideal for your own business. So if you are interested in using Kajabi to power your online business, then you can use the link in the description below to sign up for a free 14 day trial and build up your own website in maybe two days, but a very short space of time, just like I did. Little hack, I did also then message them a couple of times to extend the free trial, just whilst I was trying to uh, get things finished off. But there is also a link down there for Thrivecart, which I highly recommend if you are, say, a business and you need to account for your tax properly. Now, this isn't sponsored, they haven't paid me to say any of this, in fact, I'll throw up a, a copy of the invoice that I've just paid to Kajabi for my website. But the link below is an affiliated link, which if you're kind enough to use it, provides income for this channel so I can keep making content. If you have any more questions around Kajabi, then drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye bye.